We've learned from Proverbs 24 that by wisdom is a house built, by understanding it's established, and by knowledge it's filled with all pleasant and precious riches. But wisdom is the principal thing. It's the foundation. So when you have wisdom, you make great decisions. Let's face it, great decisions take you forward. They move you up. Right? All your decisions either move you up or down, but great decisions take you up and they take you forward. You must plan to make great decisions. They don't just happen. No plan is a bad plan. It has been said that no plan is a plan for failure. Benjamin Franklin once said, failing to plan is planning to fail. I like that. God is a planner. If God is a planner and you're made in His image, guess what is inherent to your design? planning. Wisdom demands that you plan. So let me give you a few scriptures. I talked about Jeremiah 29 11. Here's what God says. I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Thoughts and plans for welfare and peace and not for evil to give you hope in your final outcome. God's plan to give you hope. You couldn't have welfare and peace if God wasn't planning on it. He uses plans. Amos 3 verse 7 says this, Surely the Lord God does nothing without revealing His secret plan to His servants, the prophets. Look at that. How about Proverbs 16 verse 3? Commit your works to the Lord, submit and trust them to Him, and your plans will succeed if you respond to His will and guidance. What exactly is God's will and guidance? Oh, you nailed it. His wisdom, but you've got to plan on using His wisdom. You've got to incorporate it in your life.